In this video, we're talking about the circumference of a circle, and you may have heard the word perimeter before. Circumference is basically the same as perimeter. It's just a special word for perimeter that applies only to circles. Circumference just means the distance around the edge of a circle. So if I have a circle here, and I want to know the circumference of it, I just want to know how far is it around the circles. So if I start at this point right here, and I want to travel around in this direction, around the outside of the circle, basically how far am I going to travel? However far I travel, if I walk this way and end up back at my starting point, however far I travel, that's the circumference of a circle. So it's the distance around the outside. And the formula that we always use for circumference or perimeter of the circle is C for circumference is equal to 2 pi r, where r is the radius of the circle. Remember that r is half of the diameter, so if we say 2 pi r, and instead we replace r with half of the diameter, so one half of the diameter, what happens is that we get this two and the one half to cancel, and we're left with just pi d, in other words, pi times the diameter. So when you wanna find the circumference, you can either use the formula two pi r, where r is the radius, or you can use the formula pi d, where d is the diameter of the circle. So we're gonna do a couple examples here of finding the circumference. What's the circumference of the circle if the radius is equal to six? Well, this is just as simple as plugging r equals 6 into our formula 2 pi r. So we're going to get c for circumference is equal to 2 pi times 6, or c is equal to 12 pi. Now, sometimes you'll be asked to give an approximation of this in decimal form using the value 3.14 for pi. Sometimes you'll be asked to give an approximation in the form of a fraction where pi is equal to 22 over 7, and you could go ahead and plug either of those values in for pi. But in this case, we're just going to leave our answer in terms of pi and say that the circumference is equal to 12 pi. What about in this example where I've been told that the diameter of my circle is equal to 18. Well, I could convert that to the radius. I know the radius is half of the diameter, so in this case the radius is going to be equal to 9. And I could plug 9 for r into my formula here, 2 pi r, or I could just use the fact that the diameter is equal to 18 and plug it into my formula here, pi d. So circumference then would be equal to pi times the diameter or 18, and I'd get circumference is equal to 18 pi, and again, I'll just leave my answer in terms of pi. Now sometimes you're going to be asked to go backwards. You're going to be given the circumference of the circle, and you're going to need to find the radius or find the diameter. Well, in this case, we've been told that the circumference of a circle is 50 pi, and we want to find the radius. Well, since we have this value here, for c, we can just take the value for c and plug it into our formula for circumference, and we get 50 pi, when we plug that in here for c, is going to be equal to 2 pi r. We'll use 2 pi r because we want to find the radius instead of the diameter. If we were asked to find the diameter d, we would say 50 pi is equal to pi d, and then we would solve for d. But in this case, we're going to solve for r. So in order to solve for r by getting it by itself, we need to divide both sides of this equation by 2 pi, because of course when we do that, we're going to get 2 pi to cancel here with 2 pi in the numerator and denominator, leaving us with just r. So we're going to get r is equal to, again over here on the left, we'll get pi to cancel with pi, leaving us with just 50 divided by 2, or 25. So in this case, the radius is 25. If we wanted to find the diameter, obviously we would just double it and say the diameter is going to be equal to 50. Now what about this question here, and this applies to all circles in general, what happens to the circumference of any circle when you double its radius? Well, in that case, we can just figure this out by plugging into our formula. We know that the formula for the circumference of a circle in terms of the radius is circumference c is equal to 2 pi r. Well, if we double the radius, instead of radius r, we're going to have 2r because we doubled the radius. So we're going to get c is equal to 2 pi, and then instead of r, we're going to get 2r. And if we simplify this here, we're going to get c is equal to 2 times 2 is going to give us 4, or just 4 pi r. So what we see when we compare our original formula, we said the circumference was 2 pi r, to the resulting formula here when we doubled the radius, we went from 2 pi r to 4 pi r. In other words, we just doubled this original value, because if we multiply 
this value by 2, 2 pi r times 2, we get 4 pi r. So what we can say then is that when the radius doubles, the circumference will also double. And that's always going to be true no matter what the dimensions are of the circle. If the radius doubles, the circumference doubles. And if you forget that fact, you can always figure it out again by doing what we just did, plugging into the formula 2r instead of r to double the radius and see what you come up with. So those are just a couple different simple examples about how you can find the circumference of a circle.